So I was watching the YouTubes as one does, you know, on a daily basis. This video came up and I was watching it and I'm like, what in the world? So much that I thought, oh, I need to make a video about this because this is, I mean, it kind of concerns us, you know, it's having to do with lithium batteries and electric cars and stuff and the whole fire thing, right? Now electric cars and uh, lithium batteries do catch on fire and it is an issue. Uh, but so is everything else. Gas cars also catch fire. Houses catch on fire, you know, uh, everything. So the problem is, I think, is there's a narrative that, that electric cars are much more dangerous because their fires are so much more dangerous, right? Or, or they catch more on fire more often than gas cars. And I think there's, uh, there's some misconceptions there, right? But today I'm going to talk about this one right here. This company, this video, by the way, Fire Cloak usa let's watch this video and i'll just i guess i'll just react to it i don't know if we'll watch the whole thing because it's long uh, 12 minutes um but i think i will uh, skip this whole thing because this is uh just them talking i've ginger johnson ginger johnson sales and so sales people so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be it's 2013 tesla model 3 it will be in full thermal runaway and we're going to light it with a, a torch uh we will model 3 said it's a model s Fahrenheit, and that's when it will cause the thermal runaway to start and wait wait wait, wait. let's hear that again backwards torch, uh we believe around 180 degrees fahrenheit and that's when it will cause the thermal runaway to start it'll and, cause a thermal uh, runaway to kind of give you guys a background on how we got here we partnered with ProSol out of uh, Sheffield, United Kingdom, and these blankets are being used a lot in Europe. They're a few years ahead of us, but we're the sole importer for fire blankets in the United States for Fire Cloak USA. Uh, we spent the last you know, four months since the last uh, demo, and we've been meeting with Phoenix Fire Department, Las Vegas, Clark County Fire, uh, Wichita, Tulsa, all across the country, and you know, we feel really good today. We've got, you know, every, all 50 states are being represented on this, as well as four different countries. So we're getting the word out. We encourage you guys as well to share this and because all the communities are needing it. And I wanted to just, uh, like I said, I'm gonna turn it over to Chief Joe and Ginger as the demo starts and guys are ready. So we're getting ready to go. And if you have any questions, be sure Fire Cloak USA, you can contact us, send us any questions, any concerns. If you need a blanket for a demo, let us know. We'll get one out to you. And, uh, you know, the other thing is kind of on the, how do you fund these things? And that's always a question that we're getting. And the biggest answer, Clark County Fire, when we partnered with them, they wrote a grant and the grant was from the standard operating procedure. We worked together and that grant was funded and so they're buying 170 blankets for their department. So that's a great way for the, any of the departments to get funding for these. And we encourage you, if you have any questions that, we'll write the grants, we'll help you with the grants, we'll get the information to you because it is a new hazard and we all got to work together on it. I'm going to turn this over to Chief uh, Joe and Ginger and we'll get started with the, with the demo. They're going to light this fire with a torch with direct flame. Contact. I think the person that's speaking right now is Chief Joe, and he's an actual fireman. We'll uh, get these batteries into thermal runaway uh, structure of, of the battery. And uh, once it starts, it can get up to 2,500 degrees, and it's very difficult to put out. And uh, we're going to use this blanket, and this blanket is not meant to put the fire out. It won't extinguish it, but it will suppress it and contain it until you, so you have time to get your water supply. And that's incredibly important, uh, like in parking garages. I'm gonna you know, stop the video here. Um, this battery is not on fire. They do some accelerant, maybe like gasoline. I don't know what they put inside of the car, but they put it inside of the car. Dude, I don't know if they know that the battery's on a, not on the interior of the car but on the bottom side of the car and it's sealed in a box it's very tightly sealed uh weather seal they lit up the in the inside of the cabin like that's a, that's a separate compartment of the car that fires not in the battery right and so the battery here is not on fire and so when we talk about 
uh, EV fires, typically, I mean, I guess some of the time it's just going to be a regular fire that, you know, your seat caught on fire or your interior of the car or, or a tire caught on fire. But when we talk, I think, I think when we talk about EV fires, I know what I mean is that the battery caught on fire, right? And there, therefore that's a special uh, kind of fire that is different than the regular gas car fires, right? Uh, and so they are trying to show how this blanket is going to tackle an EV fire, right? But without actually them, well, creating an EV fire, because this is not an EV fire. This is just a regular car fire. There's, it's just the interior. It's just upholstery and glass and fabric. And, you know, it's like there's, the battery's not on fire here. Are they going to catch on fire later on? At these uh, areas and also large parking lots. That's already starting to pop. What does that you mean? See it's some white, you start seeing some white smoke. That's going to be from the battery. No. <laughs> in no. real life, basically. <laughs> the battery's not on fire. Not he thinks that in five minutes, salt water will the, 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 the fire is going to go from the cabin to the battery and white smoke, that's going to be the... Fire. No! Uh, what? will do that. Overcharging will cause this. Just get into full thermal runaway before we deploy this blanket. Well. The multi-use looks very enticing when you think about it because obviously you don't have to buy another blanket after you use it the first time. The problem with multi-use is they're going to degrade. They're not going to work as well the second or third time as they did the first time. Uh, you're not going to get all the contaminants off of it and there's some major contaminants that come off of that battery that you don't want to be in contact with, or inhale, that type of thing. So what this blanket is going to do, it is going to contain the fire. It does not extinguish the fire, it contains the fire. It does so not extinguish the fire. Greater than 1200 degrees. You're gonna deploy the blanket, you're gonna see how to spread that out. Okay, there's that's no white fire. He says that that's, that's when the battery, that's this indication that the battery caught on fire. I, we don't see no white smoke there. Take it up and that car. okay they're gonna cover it so they're using trained uh firemen firefighters contain it and that also uh, in case of the wind and so it's gonna contain the fire is gonna that's very important <laughs> apparently they don't know how to put the thing on top over the car just let the blanket sit there and do its job of containing Like any real life situation, you have to make some adjustments to make sure that it's on properly. When these are deployed, uh, the blankets, it's imperative that these blankets are centered. It <laughs> Except, on the car, he says they didn't center it. Overlap, overhang to be able to tuck that blanket in under. You got to tuck it inside, underneath. Yes. There you go. Very important or it won't work like it's supposed to. Okay, so, so I don't think those guys did it. Because look, he's still fighting on that other side. <laughs> There's still fire coming out of the one side. Things that can happen to the environment. So let's say that uh, you're not deploying a blanket and you're going to use the traditional method of dousing it with water. What are some of the issues that you're going to run into with the lithium ion battery cars? Okay, we're so talking about just letting it burn out. Letting them burn out? Letting it burn out. Trying to douse them with water. It's going to take a tremendous amount of water, probably up to around 10,000 gallons. So that, that's, that's a lot of water. That's why it does, you know, it's why it's retained and allows you to get your water source. Uh, so you can get the fire extinguished because you're not going to need as much water once you get that temperature down. And it's going to, it, as when it contains it, it's going to reduce that temperature greatly from up to 2,500 degrees down to less than 500, probably two, 300 degrees. And right. So then it's a lot more manageable to be able to uh, you know, tilt the car, get water underneath it, so you can actually uh, get that fire out. So you can use near as much water. Okay, so now right. they're using right. water. A lot of people or a lot of departments are, are going with, let's just let it burn, especially like on the interstate. Well, that creates a lot of environmental problems. Yes. You're gonna have runoff, 
you're gonna uh, no I, I do agree with him just let it catch fire burn out it's not the way to go i don't think right because yeah there is a lot of nasty stuff that comes out of there so again when i pull this blank there might be a small amount of uh, visible flame uh it's down to 96 degrees now but that's to be expected there may not be any but you may uh, we're getting air back to it i mean it's a pretty cool blanket it contains the fire Just like a it's, little bit the, the fire doesn't go through it I think if they leave it there, it might actually just put out the fire because it will run out of oxygen. Since the batteries are not created, it's on oxygen. So I think you could kill the fire. You could just run off. It's just not a good. It's not a good plan. So getting it down to where you're only going to use about the same amount of water you use on a normal uh, car fire internal combustion engine uh, that's that's the goal and that's what it's designed to do to help you get to where you can do that so these blankets are designed to not only be used on evs but also hybrids and uh, gas as well they can all be used for that i learned something new i didn't yeah. know you could use them on gas but... you can using this blanket you only need one department and it's probably going to take you less than an hour to get that fire contained and put out so that vehicle can be hauled off. Uh, we suggest that the blanket actually goes with the company that is going to be picking up the vehicle. And to keep that vehicle covered with the blanket, because there's always the possibility that the fire can reignite. Uh, it's not uncommon when you are dealing with uh, lithium ion batteries that it does uh, reignite at some point. They can reignite up to 30 days after That's you right. extinguish it the first time. That's why salvage yards don't really like these EV uh, vehicles at all. So I, th I think there's some truth there. I think because the battery packs are so tightly packaged and so when it catches on fire and maybe if they were a successfully able to put it out then there's portions of the battery that didn't you know that wasn't exposed or there weren't and so maybe they're still shorted out or something i, I don't know i think maybe there there are some cases where they catch on fire some like so it should long time after the, the original fire right uh, i i i guess it's possible it's possible right um but my problem with this video is not really the fact that this blanket doesn't work. Obviously, it works to suppress the fire, right? Uh, I think if they left it there longer, it would completely kill the fire, right? It would run out of oxygen and it would just give itself out. So they didn't really have to, I don't think they really had to dose it off with water at the end. Um, my problem is that they're trying to show you how this blanket it's used to put out an EV fire, but they're, they fail to actually create an EV fire. And so this is a demonstration. This is supposed to sell to, uh, I guess the public is a, this is a YouTube, right? But like the fire departments and stuff. And I think they failed. I think they failed at uh, showing us that because this is not a lithium fire. This is not a lithium ion battery fire. This is just a regular traditional car fire. Uh, and so, you know, it's funny because he's saying like, oh, well, I didn't know this would put out a regular gas car fire, right? And I mean, that is essentially what it, well, actually probably the gas car would probably be a bit more than that because, uh, well, you know, <laughs> the gasoline is pretty flammable. And so uh, it would probably be a hotter and harder to put than this fire right here because this is, was literally just interior material, just upholstery. And then they, they didn't let the car burn down to the point where the battery caught on fire. Uh, I think it's a fail. So this is just a quick video. I, I don't mean to, you know, just <laughs> completely trash on these guys. Uh, I think it's a, a good product, I think. Maybe I think the, the fire department should have those. Um, and I think it probably would help. I just, I think they failed to show us if it actually will stop a lithium ion battery fire so they probably should do this test again and in fact they this is the second time they've done this test 
because I just found another one with another electric car or hybrid, I think. But they also did not successfully were able to uh, get the battery on fire. They did the same thing. They just lit up the, the top of the car and the bottom of the car where the battery's at, they didn't, right? So I think Fire Cloak USA needs to try again and they need to do a better job doing this. Or don't, I don't know. This is just my suggestion. Uh, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. I know it's different than regular, but I thought I need to make a video because this is uh, related to what I do, lithium ion batteries, right? And uh, they do catch fire from time to time and they do have to put them out. So I was hoping that this was gonna be great, but no, I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe it does perform great at doing what they're saying, but they didn't, they, they didn't show us. So I'm hoping they will do. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye.